Hi guys, as 2024 kicks into gear, the debate over the ultimate distro always exists. People are arguing, opinions are over the place. But nowadays, stay tuned because in the world of Linux, the best is yet to come. And we are here to clear the fog and reveal top notch distros that are dominating the scene in 2024. Think of Linux world like a big playground. And each type of Linux is like a different game to play. Our job to find the best game that uh, just right for you. So we cover distro on the basis of uh, best in programming for old computers, best for hackers or cybersecurity experts and more. These distros are not just software, they are the savage beast of the open source jungle. Keep in mind the list is as fresh as year itself. What thoughts today might evolve the, by mid or the end of 2024. And we are here to ride those waves of change. Let's dive into Linux adventure and see where the code takes us next. Before starting, I have a request for you. We noticed that 99.4% of you are watching, but only 077 have subscribed. Our subscribe button feeling so alone. If you are enjoy our content, please hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Now when it comes to breathing life into older hardware or keeping things speedy on new machine, one distro that stand out is NTX. NTX support a wide range of computer, from those ancient 256 MB Pentium uh, 3 system to latest power machine. Now what's more impressive, it only required 256 MB of RAM and tiny 2.7 GB of hard disk space for installation. Now let's talk about the secret sauce behind this NTX speed, which is its lightweight desktop environment. The default desktop environment is IWM, known for its simplicity and responsiveness. It keeps things snappy and straightforward. But here is the kicker, you are not stuck with just that. NTX gives you the freedom to choose between Fluxbox, GWM and more, ensuring a desktop that suits your preferences. Need your customized setup on the go? Plug it in the USB and there you have it. Your personal digital world? Pocket size. So what makes the NTX heavyweight champion of lightweight distros? Whether your computer is the latest model or a vintage piece, NTX is designed to make both old computer and new computer run smoothly. It doesn't bog down your system. It's like having a fine-tuned engine for your computer. In short, NTX is the go-to Linux distro for reviving old computer or optimizing the newer one. With its minimum resource requirement, versatile desktop environment, and the ability to run from a USB stick, it's a lightweight champion that ensures smooth performance on any machine, old or new. Now let's move to the next distro, best Linux distribution for immutability. Let's quickly define what immutability means in the context of OS. Immutability, in simple term, means that once something is set, it doesn't change. A applying this to an operating system, it ensures that system states remain consistent and reproducible. The best distro for immutability comes in our mind is NixOS. Why NixOS is the go-to choice for those who value immutability? NixOS takes immutability to the next level. Everything in NixOS is treated as code. The entire operating system, along with the package and configuration, is defined using the declarative language, the Nix language. NixOS using Nix as its package manager, rather than APT, DPKJ, or DNF. Nix enables NixOS to provide a range of unique features. The key player in the NixOS landscape is the configuration file. The file is the heart of NixOS power, along with the user to incredible control over their system. The Nix configuration file is written in the Nix language, and it is where the magic happens. You can check the NixOS configuration file by this etc nixos at configuration.nix. You can run this command to view a Nix configuration file. Let's see how you can enable the flat pack uh, using this configuration file. Simply you can uh, write this command services.flatpak.enable equal to true and uh, just save the file and run this command. And it will enable the flatpak into your system. You can install uh, anything from the flatpak from now. So one of the standard feature of NixOS is its uh, rollback capability. If something goes wrong or you are not satisfied with the change, you can roll back to the previous uh, system generation with a single command. sudo nixos uh, rebuild switch hyphen hyphen rollback. 
the atomic uh, process include both system configuration and install packages providing a reliable safety net for its system updates uh, if you are considering switching to linux for gaming but worried about the setup meet nobara linux nobara is just another fedora spin it's a specialized highly targeted operating system tailored for hardcore gamers nobara takes the rock solid technology of fedora and inject it with gaming glory with its own package manager and repositories nobara goes beyond changing the look of a standard fedora workstation it's about providing a specialized and highly optimized system designed to enhance your gaming experience nobara offers three variation all sharing the same base packages and repositories but different in desktop environment whether you are a linux novice or an experienced user there is a flavor for you heavily modified zeno for new users a standard zeno for the experienced and the plasma variation for the ultimate in customizability What set Nobara apart is not just a user friendly variation. Under the hood, Nobara has low level configuration tweaks, kernel patches, and optimization uh, dedicated to improving the system performance for gaming. From video playback to hardware resolution, Nobara ensures a seamless gaming experience. Upon booting your Nobara system, the Nobara Welcome app offers a one click solution to update packages, install video drivers, customize the system look, and more. Nobara doesn't stop at the surface. It ensured that everything a Linux gamer could need is readily available or one click away. In conclusion, Nobara Linux is not just a distro. It's a glorious gaming experience, engineered for both novice and seasoned Linux user. It's a testament to how Linux can be tailored for its specific purpose. Now let's talk about the power house of security named as Kali. Kali Linux is not just a name, it's a brand synonymous with cybersecurity excellence. Developed by Tech Heroes at Offensive Security, and guess what? It loaded with tons of tool uh, deters like secret weapons for ethical hacker. Kali Linux supports more than 500 penetration testing and cybersecurity related application. From Nmap to Metasploit, every tool is carefully selected to make ethical hacking like a breeze. Kali Linux is the good to go choice for those serious about securing system. Undoubtedly, Kali Linux required low end uh, component to work perfectly. You can easily set up this in your system because it's need uh, less effort to install. If you uh, want to start with Kali Linux then you can watch my video on uh 15 things to do after installing kali linux therefore many uh, hackers recommend kali linux since it works on low end devices and is portable and easy to use you can use it through a cd drive or usb stick now i know you might be thinking cyber security hacking is tend to complex so not with kali linux the ui uh, is designed to be user friendly and highly customizable making it suitable for an ethical hacker beginner If you are a related familiar with Ubuntu, you can definitely start your hacking journey on Kali Linux. In case you don't know how to run uh, commands on Linux, then it will be difficult for you. But as a cyber security enthusiast, it is important to have deep knowledge of the Linux command line. Security is an essential factor behind many hackers preferring Kali Linux over any other uh, operating system. Kali Linux protects your sick privacy and secure the system by hiding the IP address and other important stuff. Let's talk about practicality. Kali Linux has proven itself in various uh, real world scenarios. Whether you are testing your own system or working on security assessment for other, Kali Linux is the good to go choice. It's not just about theory. It's a practical application in the world of cyber security. If you are serious about the securing system or diving into the world of ethical hacking, Kali Linux is the good to go companion. Now let's talk about uh, the best distro for programming. If you're diving into programming, let me tell you, Pop OS is my absolute pick. Just a head up, this is entirely my personal recommendation, and I might be a bit biased since I have been using it from last year as a software engineer. But hey, bias come for a reason, right? Running Android Studio really no problem. It works seamlessly. If you are into the web development using tool like VS Code or running Jupyter Notebook, 
Popos has got your back too. It's a versatile coding companion. Check out the video for a stress-free setup and some cool tips on what to do after installing Popos. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Popos offers a clean and intuitive interface, making it easy for developer to navigate and focus on their coding without necessary destruction. The attention to design detail enhances the overall user experience. The installation process is a breeze, and to make it even simpler, I've created a video guide. Uh, you can check it from here. We have explored various options and tried uh, different interfaces. But when it comes to a complete package, stability, simplicity and a touch of magic, Linux Mint emerges as the undisputed winner. I hope you will agree with me. What makes Linux Mint the ultimate distro, you ask? Well, it's not about slick cinnamon desktop or a robust stability. It's commitment to providing a hazard-free experience, regular updates and a vibrant community to make it good to a choice for the user across the spectrum. Linux Mint with its Cinnamon desktop showcases a lower memory consumption compared to Ubuntu Genome. This means that out of the box, Linux Mint is lighter than Ubuntu. Linux Mint Software Manager is not just faster or slicker, but it is also lighter on the resources. In contrast, Ubuntu Software Center can be a bit sluggish. This snappy performance of the Software Manager in Linux Mint ensures a smoother experience when updating or installing application. When it comes to managing software resources, Linux Mint takes a step further. It provides additional features uh, like the ability to remove foreign packages, add missing keys, and remove duplicate entries. And these features are not found in Ubuntu. For beginner, uh, the automatic troubleshooting option in Linux Mint software adds a helpful touch uh, that Ubuntu lacks. Now let's talk about the aesthetic side. Linux Mint makes theme customization like a breeze. Unlike Ubuntu, you don't need an extra uh, tool to change theme. It is a right there into your system. Linux Mint offers an extensive collection of community themes. Linux Mint provides a dedicated space for applets and desktops, offering user out of the box customizability that Ubuntu might find challenging to match. Whether you are switching from Windows or you are a tech pro, Linux Mint is like a good friend, reliable and easy going. It gets regular updates, has a friendly community, and respects your privacy. So if you want an operating system that's simple, reliable, and lets you make it your own, Linux Mint is the way to go. Try it out, drop your thoughts in the comment below. But the conversation doesn't end here. If you've got other favorite distros, share them with the community in the comments below. Remember, in the vast world of Linux, there is a distro for every taste and need. Keep exploring, keep sharing, and keep this Linux conversation alive. Until next time, happy computing. Thank you for watching Tech Jarvis.